My wife had to work today, but I was gonna have her come out here and talk about, she's complaining I'm around too much now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this for probably about four years now, both the corn grazing and the bale grazing. I was looking for a way to, to feed the cows in the winter uh, at a lower cost and to keep them out of my fields, spreading their manure. Corn grazing in this area is, is pretty cost effective if you just graze it out in the field instead of harvesting it and feeding it back to them in the yard and then hauling their manure back out to the field. I mean, I, I just figured it'd be easier to do it out here. It actually has w worked pretty well for me. I just come out here a few days before I'm planning on grazing it and I, I turn my GPS monitor on the, my, my loader tractor and I just make the strips of where I'm gonna put my, my electric wire. So then I know precisely how big each strip is and then I, ca I can get a pretty good estimate of how much corn I'm giving them. And then the same goes for my bale grazing. I was just looking for a way to keep the cows out in the land, and not keep them confined, and to simplify my chores in the wintertime to save costs with time and fuel. It's another thing you can use it for is target certain areas that may have some bare ground, may have some fertility issues. It's, it is a good way to add fertility to the, to the soil. With the bale grazing, you can just you can set the bales out in advance. You can do it in the fall, in the summer even, and then just subdivide it with electric wire as well. Or like I'm doing out here, I'm just bringing the bales out as needed. There's multiple ways you can do it.